Welcome, we're going to start exploring Java 2D graphics. I'm going to be using some code that I found here at Zcode.com, GFX, Java 2D. It's a really nice tutorial. It sets everything up in a swing, so you have a J panel you can write your graphics on. I wanted to show you where I got this and give credit for this. So here's the site. They have a Java 2D tutorial. This is the table of contents for the 2D tutorial. If you go to home, they have a bunch of tutorials for other stuff too. So mostly we're interested here in the Java 2D tutorial. So again, I thought this was pretty useful. It lets you learn the graphics without really the overhead of the Swing library. Okay, so I've created a NetBeans project here in the normal way. I've called it Java 2D Graphics and I've copied the single source file in from the uh, site that I just showed you. If we open this up, uh, I don't want to go into the details of the swing, but two things that you have to uh, know. If you go here to the Inish, you can set the size of your graphics. I'm going to change that to 1024 by 1024. That's in the Inish UE method. I'll save that and then uh, basically whatever you want to do for your graphics are going to be in this do drawing method which is uh, here at the top okay so let's go ahead and uh, again I'm just going to delete the material that's already here uh, I think this is from the very first graphic uh, example that they have here so um, let's go ahead and take that much out so basically you're going to see that we uh, take the G graphics uh, which is the older graphics element we get that from the panel it gets passed here to the do drawing we cast it to the newer graphics 2D and then we use that so the first thing we're doing here is just setting the color when you set the color, any subsequent commands that you do are going to go ahead and use that color. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add a random element so I can put random color in here. So random. I usually call my random object RND equals new random. And of course I'll have to add the library and the, you can just do uh, uh, control shift I and that'll insert the library and you can see there that it added the Java util dot random library okay uh, now to make this a random color I'm going to replace these values that are hard-coded here with RND dot next int and then I want that to be in a range of 256 which will give me from 0 to 255 and I want to do that for each of the color components. So I'll just copy that real quickly. And now I have a random color there. Okay. So set a random color for the pen. Okay. Now, um, some of this stuff is very elaborate, and uh, you can look at the uh, tutorial on the uh, Java Learning Trail on the Oracle site to get all the details. You can certainly learn more from the graphics site that I just showed you that I'm going to do here. So the next thing we have to do is set up a uh, basic stroke. So, basic stroke and we'll just call this BS equals new oops, basic stroke and let's go ahead and add the uh, import there so it looks like we're good here let's see yep Okay. So 
So the first element of the basic stroke is the width of the line. And I've noticed that one pixel is pretty small. So I'm going to go with three here and uh, so again this basic stroke is pretty elaborate and you can uh, specify the end caps and how the lines meet and a few other things uh, you can even make a more elaborate kind of stroke that does dashed lines the most basic one here is to simply set this up and this has to be a floating point number uh, and that's going to be the width of the line. So uh, let's see what we're doing here. <clears throat> oh, that's funny. It thinks that's a float or a double. All right. So I think if I put the F in there, that'll be fine. Yeah. So it's looking for a float here. So this is going to be a width of three. All right. Then we have some uh, various drawing things. Uh, let's start here with uh, and with all these. Uh, okay, so all these elements use the graphic context, the G2 object that we created. So G2D dot, and then you can see we have draw, and you can create a shape, and you can draw it. You also have. Uh, can draw a series of points. See, we have draw arc in there, all kinds of things. So um, let's just uh, start by drawing a simple line here. So, how about draw? Uh, let's see, I think it's going to be mine. Yep, there it is. And so, basically, if you look at this, we have uh, the uh, start point and then uh, the width and the length of the line. So draw a line and uh, let's draw a line from our center point which is 512 512 so that's the center of the screen because I set it to be 1024 and then uh, let's make the uh, it's kind of interesting, but basically it's going to create a bounding box. So you're specifying the upper left corner and then the height and the width of the bounding box. And so the other point for the line should be at the end of the bounding box if I'm right. Let me try this and see here. 30. I'm still learning this as you can tell here. All right, let's go ahead and run this see what we get so you can see that actually I was wrong it doesn't use the bounding box this is a coordinate so it went from 512 512 to 3030 30. okay and that's the size with the three uh, I'd really like that to be thicker so I'm gonna make that five and eh, make it six we'll just double it and then let's go ahead and change this now to be some set of points here. And to make this really interesting, let's draw a whole bunch of these and uh, randomize our color. So I'll go ahead and go back and put a for loop around everything here. So for int line equals zero while line is less than 100 let's draw 100 lines line plus plus and then we're not going to use the counter for uh, calculating any kind of uh, drawing here just going to use it to count how many lines to draw oops let me grab this indent it with the tab key there we go and then I'm going to replace these with some random values here. So let's just go ahead and create some variables. And we'll say uh, start x. Oops, sorry, that wants to be an int. Int start x equals uh, rnd dot next int. 
and then this can have range from uh, basically 0 to 1024 so we'll just go ahead and do that so 1025 and then I'm just going to copy that here multiple times I'll copy it once here and get the start Y and then I'm going to copy the whole thing oh I'm sorry start X start Y yeah okay copy it again make this end X and Y I should have copied the thing here here we go there you go so then we just want to draw from Start X, start Y, to what did I do wrong? Why isn't it like that? Oh, got the Y lowercase, didn't I? Here we go. There we go. Start X, start Y, end X, end. Whoops and Y. Alright, and that's in our for loops. That should draw 100 lines. It should be thicker than we saw before. Let's go ahead and run this. And there we go. So there's 100 lines that are all within range, all within the uh, boundaries of the screen. And I still think it's a little thin, so uh, let's go and jam our line up to width of 10 here. Uh, let's see, where is that? Uh, there we go, the stroke is right here. Put some white space in there to make this read a little bit better. There we go. Alright, we'll run it one more time. And there we go. Still pretty thin lines to my taste, but uh, you can see how that's working. Okay, I think that's enough for our first video.